Hey, my dear Daphne here. Uh, okay, let's look at this. I am just mm, slightly cautious here at the beginning. Look at the balance of this. You've got a long intro, okay? You've got a good first paragraph, very cautious, very sort of uh, short second paragraph, then your conclusion. So ideally, in terms of visual, this should be a little bit shorter. This wants to be, this. that's fine, but this needs to be longer. So really you want kind of short-ish, longer, longer, and then short-ish. These two should be the similar, the intro and the conclusion. Just for the balance and obviously for the coherence, because immediately I'm thinking one of your arguments or one of your points is going to be less well-developed than the other. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. So nowadays, green energy is becoming ever more prevalent. So prevalent, we need to show we understand this. Some argue they reduce costs. Yeah, others, they're serious threat. Well done, I like your colors, <laughs> very, very visual. Good work. There's an ongoing debate between those people who are environmentally conscious, advocate green lifestyle, and are proponents of renewable energy, and another set of people who oppose it, as it poses threat to the security of energy. Yes, now, I need to know what you understand by that. Um, you're talking about reliability here. Great, um, but you need to put. You need to tell me immediately what you mean. Uh, it poses. So I would say, as it could pose, uh, pro or present problems, present supply problems. Uh, keep it simple. That's really what we're talking about, aren't we? There's not enough, potentially. So, there's an ongoing debate between those who are environmentally conscious, advocate a green lifestyle, and are proponents of renewable energy. Good. And others, I would just go others, who, I'm not sure they oppose it, it's just what they are suggesting. So a pose feels a bit strong. And um, others who urge caution. This is really nice. Who urge caution. Um, oh, I want to go stating. Um, or maybe quoting. Problem, quoting reliability problems. Or supply problems. Citing, that's the one I want. Citing. Ah, oh, okay. Supply problems, okay. And others, okay, who urge caution, citing supply problems. Okay? Look how neat that is. Um, it's just a little bit less, like, less wordy. Okay? Others who urge caution, citing supply problems. I.e., there could, maybe there's not enough. The benefits of green energy far outweigh the threats to it, which I believe are more perceived than real. Okay, good. Uh, this essay deliberates on both these aspects and places emphasis on the merits um, of alternative energy, quoting research. Okay, good, that's fine. Lovely. Um, far outweigh the threats of it, which I believe are more perceived than real. Good. That's really nice writing. Um, absolutely fine. So just tidy up that and then that make it a bit shorter. Renewable energy, such as... Now, you must tell me now what you mean, because you haven't told me here. Right, solar, wind, hydro, tidal, whatever, is at the heart of all strategies to make countries self-sustaining to fulfil their current and projected energy requirements. Good. Green energy taps into inexhaustible sources like wind solar panels, wind or solar panels. You still need to tell me what they are here. And thus has the capability, uh, maybe, and capacity to generate adequate green fuel to meet all the energy demands of a nation. Uh, all? Mm, I might go the majority of, just to be a little bit more tentative there. <clears throat> As green energy sources are provided by nature, no, the. It is economic and unreasonably priced. Um, once established because the startup costs are high and you should acknowledge that. Um, so once 
uh, set up, it is economical and reasonably priced. Now, I w you can't use on the other hand there. Um, you can't use on the other hand because you haven't used on the one hand and also it's not a very high level connecting word but you could put here in contrast in contrast it's just smoother in contrast sources of conventional energy like oil coal and natural gas are fast depleting their reserves and furthermore so link it together and furthermore these traditional energy providing methods are detrimental good for the environment and human health studies conducted on potential contribution uh, the potential contribution for renewable energy indicate that continued focus on green energy would have far reaching benefits and correct the ravages good so let's get this into more of a conditional structure uh, have indicated that so change the tenses have indicated that continued focus on green energy would have, would have, or should have even. So use these lovely modal verbs. I would absolutely avoid will and can. Just cut them out of all your essays. You, they're not super good. They're not super academic. This is nicer. Would have far-reaching benefits on the environment. Good. Okay. Right. How are we going to boost that paragraph a bit? Although, there are multiple uh, advantages. To um, supporting uh, future investment in renewables, we can also say sustainables. Sources, comma, and then I would go caution needs. So take out that. Uh, caution needs to be exercised good to ensure that focus on renewable energy uh, does not pose a threat for security, which is of paramount importance and a non negotiable for national security. Okay, now I need you to use this word supply because otherwise I'm not sure you know what you mean and. <laughs> That is why I need you to mention that word very early on here. Um, uh, so I just want to avoid my repetition exercise to ensure this focus does not pose a threat to energy supply, which is of paramount importance. Green fuel is sometimes perceived as a security issue as the reliability and stability of the supplies is questioned by some is occasionally or frequently bringing these words here questioned why okay why you need to absolutely tell me why I need to know that you know due to unpredictable weather weather variations, like if it's not sunny, there's no solar, uh, such as floods or droughts. So give me some vocab connected to extreme weather or even terrorist or hacking incidents. So here we just need to expand that a little bit. Okay, uh, recent uh, events in USA that they had a gas pipeline which was hijacked have shown the vulnerability of uh, many energy supply stations something like that but get your example in there and then that's fine yeah good so expand this I need to know you know what you mean to summarize, green fuel is the only option. Uh, this is your opinion, so you need to state, in my opinion, the only option for a way forward, as it's affordable and so absolutely it's imperative to, um, 
Absolutely. Well done. I really like your conclusion. Strong opinion in here, which is great. Equally, you recognise the structure of the essay. You've very much addressed both sides. I would suggest um, that you, in terms of losing marks, you would lose marks for not fully developing that paragraph and not absolutely showing me early on in the essay that you understand what the security is. And because you don't mention, you use their word security, but you're not telling me what you understand by it. And uh, that would be my only thing. Remember when we looked at the, oh, uh, like what you need, the the, um, the band descriptors, we were talking about very limited mistakes. You really haven't got very many mistakes, but here where I've had to change the tense and here where you've had a little few little things on articles, that is what you just want to get rid of. Um, and some issues here where I've just added in, I just kind of tidied it up a little bit maybe. Um, so you are doing brilliantly. I would suggest you get another essay pack, or if you want to pause for a couple of weeks, pause for a couple of weeks, then get an essay pack. Uh, very few students stop now, unless their exam is happening immediately. You've got another four weeks. Um, I would absolutely keep going if you've got the time. Um, you can get another essay pack at really good value. You still have access to the um, elements of the course, but on the essay corrections, we're just doing the corrections um, like this. So that would really keep you going. I think that would be the best idea. You don't want to stop and then not do another essay until August 22nd. That's a very long time to wait. Uh, your next door neighbour owns a small dog. Okay, this is a really tricky letter. Uh, dear Mr Brown, I take this opportunity to introduce myself. Okay, yeah, nice. Shifted. Shifted to? Moved to. The adjoining house. And why is this matter related? Uh, why is this matter related to a concern that I would like to let you to address, please? Okay, I'm writing um, on this delicate matter. Delicate matter means it's something very difficult to talk about and you're feeling a bit uncomfortable. Our family consists of myself, my husband, and our baby girl who's six months old. Ever since we we relocated, so you don't we don't shift houses, we relocate or we move. The child the child uh, give her a name. Um, Maria, whatever, has not been able to sleep well and it's impacting her health negatively. Uh, little Maria, something like that. Make it like friendly. Uh, this is due to the incessant barking of your dog all throughout yeah. As I was mostly in the room which is right next to you've had a joining here this is editing be careful right next to our house the noise you don't need that i heard it's very loud and disturbing that's a bit then you can have it yeah not able to sleep at all i would like to recommend now careful on making a recommendation people love their dogs i wonder if you might be able to uh uh house your pet let's not use the same words so i wonder if you might be able to it's super super polite how's your pet so not shift again <clears throat> come on come on mandy three times watch out edit shift it up to the back of the house from the current room which is right next door okay we know that because you've said that okay to a room at the back this would be of great assistance as the barking sound of the dog would be muffled hypothetical would be muffled our consulting period <laughs> uh, um absolutely uh thus i look for okay uh i wouldn't repeat thus um i would say something a little bit less formal a little bit more neutral i really hope um this does not upset you and hope for your understanding yeah so it's a very subtle letter we have to be super careful here but well done um just be very careful there you've got a lot of words you don't need quite so many words um write fewer words and have fewer mistakes okay please and i don't think you need that okay uh, but you could say something like i hope to meet you soon but equally i don't even think you need it um Three paragraphs are okay. You could cut quite a bit of this. 
uh, just to keep it nice and tight. Yours sincerely. Yep, that's fine. Nancy Drew. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay, very good. Really nice. Um, I would keep going. If you've got the time and energy, I would definitely keep going. Well done. 